Good evening, everybody, and welcome here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So, this is the Monday Night Show, which is a Monday Night Look Back at a Classic Rock Album. Now, I did have one that I had actually made the video for and was ready to release it, and then I found out that I would actually done it. And I had a feeling I had done it, but I couldn't find it in any of my notes or on anything until I started to put up, and then I realized it was already up there. So I scrapped it, and we're doing this album, which I also couldn't believe it wasn't on the list, and it, but it isn't on the list. I checked, triple-checked, and we're talking about the Yes album, uh, one of my favorite Yes albums. I would say this is definitely in the top five for sure, maybe as high as number two or three. Such a great album, despite there being no Rick Wakeman on here. This is still a fantastic, fantastic album. Um, so we'll give you the vitals on this first before we get carried away and start going on about the album. So the the album was released in Febu on February the 19th, 1971 at Vision Studios in London, England. Uh, Atlantic Records, of course. Uh, about 41 minutes long, which is fairly lengthy. A little longer than I normally like, but I don't I don't have that bad feeling about that at all with this album. And it was uh, produced by none other than Eddie Offord and Yes as well. Uh, so it features the classic, or one of the classic Yes lineups. Maybe not the classic lineup, but pretty close to it. So you've got and you've got a picture of Steve Howe here too. Put him in. There he is. Steve Howe, Chris Squire. Uh, Steve Howe, Chris Squire. I think that's. Uh, oh no, John Anderson's on the other side. John Anderson, uh, Bill Bruford, and that is not Tony K, but it might be. Could be Tony K. Yeah, maybe it is Tony K. I thought it might be Peter Banks, but I think it's Tony K. So those are the main guys in there. So you got John Anderson on vocals and percussion, Chris Squire on bass and vocals, uh, Steve Howe on electric and acoustic guitars, uh, Vachalia, which I'm not quite sure what that is, but uh, I meant to look it up and I forgot, uh, vocals as well. And then you got Tony K on piano, organ, and Moog synthesizers, and then Bill Bruford on drums and percussion as well. And coincidentally, and I did not know this, it's a coincidence to me, I, I did a battle of the bands for Sunday featuring, uh, I'm going to screw this up, Ginindralong and uh, the two brothers Colin and Stuart uh, Goldring on that album and one of them, Colin Goldring, is appearing on this album, strange as it may seem, playing recorder. So. I thought that was kind of interesting that I did not notice that right away. Sorry, I caught the edge of that. So, anyways, um, this album came out in 71. Many considered this the beginning of the progressive era for Yes, although there was hints of that on the predecessor, Time and a Word, less on the, uh, the uh, album, self-titled Yes album. But anyways, this is considered the first kind of big Yes album. Uh, lots of really solid tracks here and, and songs that have stood the test of time on this album. My favorite track on this album is Yours Is No Disgrace. Such a great, great track. I love it. It's still one of my favorite Yes songs. Has gone. I, I think it's one of the most played Yes songs on the uh, internet as well. And apparently it was um, inspired by the TV series Bonanza. They took the same kind of rhythm or same kind of beat and incorporated it into this song. The second song, of course, isn't really a song. It's just an instrumental acoustic bit called The Clap, which is really well done and introduces Steve Howe to the, to the uh, community, or at least to the Yes fans anyways, at the time. And he, be, uh, to me, he's a legend. And this is a great beginning, great acoustic ability. Uh, and he does he goes further on the next album even but so good um, and then you have one of the best progressive rock songs I think has ever been released Starship Trooper uh, just so good so many guitar parts here are so good um, that part that just 
the worm part that just goes on and on is so fantastic I just love it I think this is one of the classic classic yes songs and one of the great prog songs of all time then you've got the B side in this case it's a CD so there is no B side but originally there was a B side and it started off with I've seen all good people which was the song that they put on the radio so it was the radio friendly track probably one of my least favorite tracks on here I, I think it's it tends to go on kind of reminds me of um, the Beatles Hey Jude it's good but it just goes on and on and drones on for apparently ever and that's the way I feel about this one more so with this one than Hey Jude but definitely uh, probably overplayed but it's not a terrible track either Adventure that's one of the under less less known cuts on the album it's not a bad song I don't think it's ever gonna win any awards or anything but it's a pretty solid track um, just a, a shorter track as well and then you have uh, perpetual change which I think is one of the unsung uh, deep cuts not just on this album but in yes in general I think it's a song that stands the test of time even though this album sounds kind of dated that song is really good and it's kind of overshadowed by its big brothers uh, yours is no disgrace in Starship Trooper but definitely a worthy track of this band this whole album is really solid and this particular uh, CD comes with three bonus tracks your move which is the single version which they take from I've seen all good people and the Starship Trooper life seeker which they also take from I've seen uh, uh, Starship Trooper which is the beginning part and then the clap in the studio version so yeah pretty solid album cover isn't that great um, not really sure I guess this is the best they could do is have a Polaroid shot <laughs> but anyways the album itself fantastic um, please make any comments about this album that you feel necessary to make there may be things about it I don't know that's what I always look for people putting comments in there about stuff I don't I didn't know about this album because you know you learn lots of different things about stuff that you know you didn't know because we never used to have the internet so you might have heard of it from somebody who might have known in the band but you know that stuff was only only known if you happen to be close to the band and now you don't even need to be close to the band you can hear about it on the internet from anybody who's willing to tell you not everything's the truth though but a lot of it has some basis in reality so anyways there you have it the yes album and uh from yes uh their third studio album released in 1971 so have yourself a good night and, and enjoy the rest of your evening so please don't forget to like and subscribe over here it's much appreciated and we will see you again next monday with another look back at a classic rock album take care bye